Hi, this is Chris from Team Supreme Leader Snoke from CS411, and I'm here to talk a little bit about our project called Clarity. Now, Clarity is, is a question and answer based forum where users can post questions that they don't know the answers to and they're seeking answers, and other users on the website that may know the answers can go ahead and see if they can answer those questions adequately for the askers. This website is inspired by the likes of similar applications like Quora, and Quora is also a question and answer based forum, and a lot of the features from our app were inspired by features on Quora. So, to get started, if you can see here, we have the main page. This is what you see if you go to our website, and you can see that there's just a list of a bunch of questions that people have posted. Now, a bunch of these questions are posted from us, and we've also asked our friends to post questions, and they had a bit of fun. You, there, later, you'll see some funny comments in some of these questions. So, uh, obviously, if you don't have an account, you'll see this. It'll look the same, except for that you'll have the option to log in or sign up. So, if I'm not logged in and I wanted to ask a question, it'll redirect me to log in. And if I don't have one, then I can go ahead and see if I can make one. So you type in your first name and your last name there and then you can put your username there that you want to do and if they don't match then you'll get an alert like that. So let's just register that account real quick. So we have our account now and we can go ahead and start asking questions. So first you can go over here and click ask and then you have a very simple interface here. You can enter the title of your question. So let's say, what is a dank meme? And then for the question body, you can just put additional information if you don't think you can fit the entire question in just the title. So let's see, I've read about things called dank memes. I'm not really sure. So, you know, there's just an example question we have there. And now we have the option to pick a category. So we present with you guys with five default categories here, programming, math, movies, gaming, and random. And if you don't see the category you want to put this question in, you can go ahead and create your own custom category. So let's just say this one is related to the internet. We wanted to have a list of all the categories here but due to time constraints, uh, we weren't able to do that. So right now we just have this option where you can create your own category. And if someone else were to also type in internet, then they would just get grouped into the same category anyway. Now over here, we have something called a rep requirement. Now users that only want active members of Clarity to be able to answer their questions can specify a little rep requirement here. Now each user starts out with zero credits and it's sort of a currency and you need one credit to be able to put a rep requirement. We don't want just anyone to be able to put a requirement on their questions so obviously we want people to be more active on the website to be able to do something like this. Now you can get credits by obviously like I said before participating in the forum so you get 0.2 credits for every upvote you get on your answers and you know, I'm sure you can see where that goes from there. So right now, since this is a new account, we can't put a rep requirement, but I will show you that in just a second. But let's go ahead and post this question. What is a dank meme? Oh, also, we wanted to have it so that if someone has already asked a question that you're about to ask, but you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and click this, and it'll redirect you to our search feature, which I will go over in just a minute. So let's go ahead and post this question. And we can see that it appears here and these questions are sorted by time posted so the latest questions will be at the top. So we can see this question here. You can see it was posted by us, that's us, in this category and a little timestamp here. Uh, you can, if you are the asker, you can go ahead and look at the answers. As, as you can see there are no answers yet because we just posted it and I'm sure no one else is on this website at the moment. Uh, another thing you might have noticed is categories over here. So in this little box, it'll list the categories of all the questions that are currently on the forum. So let's go ahead and look at programming. 
So we can see all these questions that were put in the programming category. So let's see, uh, we have a question here. How do you feel at CS411 UASC? We got two answers. It's okay, I guess. Or not the best class I've had, but not also the worst. I don't know who that is, but I'm going to downvote that because this class is awesome, obviously. We can go back here. We can look at another category like dogs. What type of dog is in the doge mean? And you can see people have answered this, and I think this is the correct answer, so I'm going to go ahead and give Cindy an upvote and then that will award her credits like I mentioned before. So let's go ahead and go over the search feature now. So you can type in any words that are related to what you want to find. So let's say we wanted to find something related to Batman. So we can type in Batman. As you can see, I've already searched that before. And then it'll give you the search results. So the way we do that is you take it takes the query string in this box and it'll check for answers and questions that have your keywords in them and then it gets weighted heavier if it's in an answer that's been upvoted a lot so that's how it'll rank the uh, question results here so I mean let's say this is the question I was looking for so I can click it and then you can see these answers and this should all be familiar by now, so let's go ahead and upvote this. So I do like Batman. All right, now I will show you guys maybe a reputation required question. So we have this question here, and as you can see by this string of text, there's you need 10 rep to answer this question. So obviously I don't have that, so you can, as you can see, I can't write an answer. And this is correct, so I'll upvote that. So I can log out and maybe log into an account that I know has that much reputation. If I log back in, go back to this question, as you can see, I do have the requirement so I can write an answer. And there we go. So that's the basic overview of our app. It's pretty simple. You just post questions. And you can also remove questions. So I can go back to, let's say, a question that I asked before, so like this. I can go ahead and delete this. Uh, report doesn't do anything, it was just there so that I could have put something in the drop down menus. But you can delete your questions. You can also go to questions and you can delete your answers that you've posted before. And yeah, that's pretty much what our app is. Like I said, it's pretty simple, but it was pretty interesting to see the discussions that were happening uh, among our friends and what kind of questions they were posting. But yes, that is Clarity, and I hope you enjoyed.